Hello Capricorn and welcome to Soul Guidance with Adriana. Today I have an intuitive reading for you. I'll be asking for healing and messages for your growth. I do these weeks, these weeks, I do these readings every two weeks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel so you can stay in touch. And in between, also feel free to check out your sun. Well, this is your sun, moon, and rising signs, possibly your Venus as well, if you want to get a full picture of what's going on. Okay, so, whoop. okay, two of pentacles is wanting to fall out first. So starting with some balance going on, needing to have more balance. Okay, show me where Capricorn is. Okay, chariot, six of swords, eight, wow. Okay, <clears throat> a lot of moving on, going on, um, on the mental as well as the emotional level. This is really interesting. Uh, we've got card number seven, the chariot, six of wands and eight. So we almost have a sequ sequence, six, seven, eight, but the sequence is out of order, which says to me that the emotional, the emotional component to this has taken a lot longer to move through. Okay, what is Capricorn leaving behind? You know, it's interesting. You, uh, it's like your situation became, <laughs> it became too much work, Capricorn. You're giving too much of yourself. And um, it was, you were forced to do a lot, just to, to uh, pick up a lot of slack, to keep a lot of things going. And you know, you were doing this because you had to, but I do see that there was a desire for more of an emotional pursuit. You, you did want to have your heart more involved, but your heart actually has not been involved in this. It's like you're not loving what you're doing. You're, not, you're doing it because you have to, not because you really, really love to. And you've decided that you need to move away from that, but for some reason... Kind of, I'm getting conflicting messages here because it feels like it was fulfilling some kind of emotion for you. You're getting some kind of emotional fulfillment out of staying in this situation. Because it's like you felt you were doing a good thing. You thought you were doing the right thing, a good thing, but then it kind of got to be too much. Um, overworked, overburdened. Because the person you were giving to was really just about themselves, really selfish, not not someone who likes to share the spotlight. And it's just kind of like you, you got fed up. So we're in a state of moving on from there, perhaps trying to find your balance. Um, I wanna look at what's going on in the subconscious level. So what is going on in the subconscious level for Capricorn? Yeah, and why why the conflict between, okay, it's not emotionally fulfilling, but it's also emotionally fulfilling. I'm getting something out of it emotionally. Okay. Four, this is subconscious defeat. Okay, son of feathers. Okay, another little sequence there, four and five. Whoa, actually this is really cool. Okay, so we've got from the other cards, three, four, five, six from your other cards, and then seven, eight on the top. And actually we started with two. So we're going, we're, it's like we're going through this process. We're getting towards the end. It, the end would be like nine and 10. So you've completed part of this process. We're like, we're like in the middle of it is, what, is what's going on. Okay, subconscious level, four of wands, five of swords, son of feathers. That's who I was holding up for you before. Okay. Now, why 
the defeat in the middle of that? Why the five of swords in the middle of that? Okay, I just need one a clarification here. Okay. And here's our nine. <laughs> nine of pentacles. Okay. You know, this is interesting the way it's unfolding. It's because this is saying, you know, on the subconscious level, you're ready to turn back. You're ready to, to move away from this. Um, but for some reason, there is part of you that wants to keep going. I think that's why it's conflicted. Why, you know, on one hand, I want to leave, but on the other hand, I want to stay. Um, you haven't seen enough progress or you haven't... It's almost like you haven't been burned enough by the situation. You're getting a little exhausted by it, but you haven't been burned enough. And the other thing is the six of swords here says that you're still tied to what you're trying to leave from. Okay. So this person really still has a hold on you. I, I want to say the situation still has a hold on you. I think for someone, it is multiple people we're talking about. Um, it still has a hold on you. So we have a conflict going on here. Do you, do you leave? Do you stay? Do, what, what are you really getting out of this? Is it healing for you? Is it causing you growth? So what is the soul's message in this situation here? Three of Cups, Temperance, again, healing, and Two of Cups. This is all about, this is an emotional lesson for you, Capricorn. So Three of Cups, Temperance, Two of Cups. This is about emotions. This is also about relationships and understanding how to come into more balanced relationships instead of doing everything yourself. Oh, this is so fascinating. You see the double helix? They've got a little helix going here, and then the, the snakes are making a helix too. So we're looking at the combining and the flowing of two different energies that are similar that want to come together. And so Capricorn, what's happening and I can very much relate to this, is that you're overgiving, you're overdoing because you're afraid that the other person will not come forward enough to match you in a way that is reciprocal. So at the end of all of this, you're trying to save yourself from disappointment. You're trying to save yourself from having to cut your losses and to move on. Um, you know, so in my particular experience, I am a habitual overgiver and overdoer and over responsibler. <laughs> um, but when I have allowed myself to step back in different situations, in emotional situations, in work situations, when I've stepped back and not done so much, it really does create space for the other person to come forward. And then from that space, I can make an accurate assessment as to whether they really are meeting me as an equal or whether their best still isn't enough. And nothing against them, nothing against you. It's just that you need to be able to objectively see what they really have, like how much gas is in their tank. If you sit there filling it up and topping it off, um, you can't really tell how much gas they really have in there and what they can really bring to the situation. The three of cups here is, is about the not the consolidation, the bringing together of energy, the bringing together of energy in a way that is joyful and unifying. And this is what we're missing in, in this situation with you. You're overdoing, you want to leave, but you feel like you can't leave, you, you want to stay. And your soul is saying, okay, here's what we're trying to teach you here. This is about letting the person come to you as an equal this is about just putting up half of the energy, 
just an equal half of the energy and letting the other person put in their their energy. So, you know, our two of pentacles from before, the balance above and below, keeping things in balance. That's what we're really talking about for you here. Temperance is a similar message, balance and harmony. Okay, Capricorn. So I believe this will do it for us today, but I'm going to, and I forgot to mention this before, I'm going to be creating an extended for you from this reading, and I want to go deeper into why this is happening for you. Because if you can understand why you're wanting to overgive and why you're wanting to do this, it's easier to undo the pattern. It's easier to step out of this. Okay, so if you'd like to follow me over there, there is a link below in the description, and I will see you over there soon. Thanks, Capricorn.